Okay. Since the fuel subsidy has been removed, I think things have gone way beyond people. Oh yeah now let's go right into it if you're new to my channel you are in the right place and for my existing subscribers thank you once again for joining i do appreciate you i see your love i see your likes i see your comments thank you guys you guys are the real mvp and to my new guys please stick to the end of this video and please turn on your post notification bell and hit the like button subscribe and join the family so guys today is not going to be a very long video however there's going to be a tweak to today's video it's not going to be the regular sit down video because i'll be going out there to interview people in the streets of lagos to get to hear from them and let us know what they're facing and the experiences and get to hear one of the things that they have to tell us so guys so as not to bore you guys today is not going to be the all smiley video because at the moment nigeria is choking so there have been a lot of spe speculations around about different countries and the price of things that have increased and nigeria my country is actually not left out we are also facing the heat so the cost of living in nigeria as of today september 2023 has gone up like it has gone really 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 up and my god we don't know how a lot of people are surviving but we thank god for grace we thank god for strength thank god for provision and right guys so um today's video is gonna be more of getting to know the cost of living in nigeria most especially lagos and to also get to share or rant about the current state of things in lagos and nigeria as a whole so i had to jot down one of the things while i was thinking through this vlog and i'll share them with you in the way i have written them so one of the things that baffles me a lot is the fact that the minimum wage of nigerians today which has been set by the federal government is 30,000 naira which is approximately about 35.77 dollar per month and it keeps me wondering that as of today the cost of fuel has gone up to 600 naira per liter and electricity right now is not even stable the cost of transportation has increased the cost of electricity have also increased the cost of food and basic amenities are also not in a good state at the moment so how then is one expected to survive on 30 thousand naira after doing a lot of survey and research it brings me to a final conclusion that a lot of nigerians are living in poverty that being said to live comfortable in nigeria you need to earn nothing less than 500 to let's say a million naira monthly to be able to live comfortable i'll justify the reasons why I did mention that some of the things that you need to spend money on or you need money for is one basic 
essentials two your savings three investment and four the fun money fun money so the first one which is basic essentials you need to be able to have fun to take care of your basic needs like water electricity gas data airtime food clothing etc then the second thing that you need money for is savings so there are times where your vehicle will be bad unexpectedly that you need to spend money you can't just wait till when you get the next paycheck before you take care of your vehicle or take care of other family expense so that savings that you have will be able to help you out in those situations where you have an unexpected expenses <clears throat> family urgent call there's someone who is seriously sick and needs help in the family out of your savings you could take some part of those savings and help sort out those bills the third thing is investment you need to invest your money invest your money in either real estate stock exchange treasury bills fixed deposits and the rest of them then the fourth thing is fun money you need to go out in lagos <laughs> not even only in lagos in other parts of the country or the world you need to go out you need that fun money that will be able to take care of those fun activities that you want to enjoy you can't just live your life working eating saving and not also be able to have fun or get that excitement you want while hanging out or going for vacations and the rest of them so those are the basic things that you need to do and you can't achieve most of those things with low income that's why you see a lot of people going to two three different jobs just to ensure that they make hands meet even in the developed countries some people work um some people do two three jobs so in nigeria you might not be able to do two or three jobs but you would be able to have a job and probably have a business or have a business and so probably have some other side also so there's usually a flip to it that you do something extra to just have an extra income of food those other um, needs of yours so so guys um those are some of the basic some of, those are some of the basic necessities that you need money for all these i've mentioned so far i've not added health which is medical so it's medical abuse for so but for those who don't have health insurance you need to pay for your bills your medical bills every time you fall sick and where is that money coming from from your income so it's just a roller coaster period for everyone out there right and a lot of people are even below the comfortable income class or well, however people get to do what they have to do people have different ways that they get to manage themselves get to see get to invest get to even have that fun money to go for vacations and the rest of them no doubt yeah so guys um, I think I, I'm talking too much, so I would go out to the streets of Lagos right now. <laughs> so not practical, I might not really go out to the straight streets of Lagos, but I'll be able to get one or two or three persons that I can get hold of, interview them, just hear their perspective of what they think about the cost of living in Nigeria. What are the areas that have they, they've been able to adopt that helps them to navigate and still stay afloat in this current economy and this current period so stay tuned while i go out there to show you some of the people that i'll get to you you know guys i would say keep the hopes alive keep the dreams alive keep pushing keep doing what you know how to do best double your hustle like they used to say and um the sky is big enough for everyone to fly and we get comfortable at some point or the other and enjoy life yeah Stay tuned, guys. hello sir good afternoon how are you doing i'm good 
okay sir so i'm just doing a quick survey to just ask people around to know how the cost of living what do you think about the cost of living in nigeria today do you think it's okay do you think it's comfortable you think the cost of things are very very high yeah, actually the things has gone high uh especially since the fuel subsidy has been removed i think things has gone way beyond people rich now and a uh, family are struggling to to make ends meet uh but we have no choice we just have to keep doing it at least we that is what caused the exodus of people living in nigeria but while some that are still here we just have to find a way around how we live and uh, how we're going to make sure that at least we survive with the little we have and and i think the i think there's a advantage and disadvantage the the advantage of it is that i think it costs some excesses of people people spend money carelessly on what they don't supposed to i think now people are now more they double check on the expenses and the yeah. disadvantage is like the little people are hanging are no longer enough, enough for yeah. people. so that is it so i think sincerely if the government can be sincere with the people with the whole structure and the program if it finally turn out to be good i think everybody will enjoy it. but if the way they normally promise and at the end they just only enrich yourself i think it's going to be a disaster for the government and uh for the people but things are very very high now i have to confess both the rich and the poor and the middle are complaining thank you very very much thank you for this response thank you so much and i'm sure that a lot of people are going to learn one or two from your feedback so he's telling us in all that if you know that you spend lavishly please reduce your spending and if you know previously that you are a good spender keep up the good work and the lord god almighty will continue to enrich us thank you sir thank you. Bye. Hey, well, good, afternoon. good afternoon please i've been doing a survey just ask people what they think about the current state of nigeria the cost of living what do you think about it for me i think it's really expensive that the average young family or average family cannot even fit three, three square meal in a day so it's really stressing and frustrating at this point okay so what do you think people can do differently just to ensure that they make ends meet mm, basically if you used to rely on salary now i think you should i think of doing some side maybe selling also. side puzzles to add to up the salary for me salary cannot do everything side selling thank you thank You're you welcome. so much favor hi good afternoon Good afternoon, madam. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Please, what's your name? My name is Ifeolo Okay, it's good to have you on my channel. So, I've just been going around to ask people's opinion about what they think about the current states in Nigeria, the cost of living. Do you think the cost of living is something to write home about? Or what do you think in general about the cost of living? And how well do you think people will be able to manage? Or particularly, what advice do you have for people out there? All right, first of all, the, um, the current cost of living here in Nigeria is extremely high, very, very, very high. Um, you can imagine, um, normally I fill my car up um, with 13,000 naira, which lasts me for about um, two weeks. Now I fill it up with 43,000. Wow. So imagine me spending 43,000 within a space of two weeks. Wow. You can imagine what it will look like. So, um, although, plus me, I'm a big boy. I'm fine and I'm Okay. I'm surviving. Yeah. I'm very, very sure other people here in Nigeria might not be able to survive. Okay. So if, you put, if you look at the fact that they don't spend that much. Yeah. I don't think people, as in, when you talk, when you talk about salaries, mm. people here earn as below as um, forty-five thousand. Imagine mm, that's you really cool. having to spend a, a chunk of your money in, in transport alone, mm. without even feeding. You know, it's terrible, it's bad. So, what advice do you have for people out there that are struggling? What do you think they can do differently just to make ends meet? All right. Um, the advice I'll give to people is just that: just put your quota according to your to your suit. That's what you do. Okay. You don't, there's no extravagant spending. It's, um, there's, there's no, as in, as in, you know, if you don't have any business going out, don't go out, stay in the and you know, because once you step your, your, your foot outside of this day, you know, you tend to spend. 
I look for alternative ways of earning money too. You can't just depend on salary alone. That's just it. Thank you very much, Mr. Ife. We do appreciate you. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you doing today? Good. Okay, so we're going around to ask a couple of persons what they think about the cost of living in Nigeria and how well they think um, things are, and also to share their two cents on what areas they think people can, what think, what areas or things that they think people can do differently just to make hands meet in Nigeria. Okay, well, um, yes, I agree. Uh, Cost of living in Nigeria is, is now a bit high, and you know, thanks to the fall subsidy, you know, that was removed. But it's, I think that's a good way and a good uh, direction we have to go. Um, I just feel that it's uh, it's a sacrifice we all have to have to make at this very moment in time. And I will just implore everyone to live by his own means. Let's just live by our means and I feel when we live by our means and we don't try to overhype things, I feel we'll be able to to cope. And God willing, before the end of the year, I believe there's gonna be some changes. There's gonna be some changes in, in, in the cost of living. Okay, thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey guys, um, I'm sure that you guys must have listened to everyone's opinion on this episode. So guys, one thing that is common to almost everyone, if you notice, they're saying that you should cut your coats according to your clothes. It means that in this current economy we are in Nigeria, just try and ensure that you don't do more than your income. Stay within your means, live within your means, and at the end of the day, you'll be able to survive the way best suits you so guys till so my next video again i'll be sharing another episode on this particular topic and i'm sure that i'll have more people to interview in this process until then guys stay safe and keep cool and do not forget to hit the like button subscribe share and let this video go viral guys before the end of december i'm begging we must hit our 4,000 subscribers guys until the next one have a good one bye